Okay, well, this place is a friggin' maze. I am, like, so lost right now. There he is. Alright. I wanted to use little friend on him. I wasn't going to take any chances. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 20. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to uh, continue questing. Uh, but we need to start thinking about some things. Um, I did some mining overnight, so we got some lead and, and found a little tiny iron pocket down there, too. Uh, but anyway, uh, we need to start thinking about some things, um, you know, as we continue to progress here. Uh, this base that we're currently in is, is definitely not going to be our permanent base. And, uh, you know, the way Alpha 20 works... For those of you who may not know, is that if you go to the more dangerous biomes, you get a chance of better loot. And so what I'm thinking of, my understanding, by the way, too, is it goes forest biome, desert biome, snow biome, and then wasteland in terms of the, you know, the better loot. So I, I'm thinking we should maybe find a snow biome. Um, wasteland biome might be a bit much for us to, to live in, at least not until we're really well geared. Uh, but I think we could probably handle the snow biome as long as we, you know, have the right clothing. So we would need like a puffer coat and, and that sort of thing. Maybe some insulated liner mods. And, um, you know, maybe start thinking about moving to the snow biome just so that we can, of course, get ourselves a little bit better loop. I would like, however, before we do that really in earnest to at, at the very least have a, uh, you know, have a mini bike. So is that... Is that a dire wolf or just a wolf wolf? Well, whatever it is, we killed it and we got some meat. Um, I forgot that this was a, a lever action rifle and I, I stopped after the first shot to reload it and wasted a shot. But yeah, anyway. So yeah, I think what the plan is, is we need to start um, fast tracking intellect um far enough along so that we can get to grease monkey 2 mini bike master so that's going to re going to require intellect 4 uh the other advantage of doing that is then we could also get physician which requires intellect 3 and that'll allow us to make our chem bench uh, which we we need to and then you know in the process uh, we'll probably at, at some point throw some points into advanced engineering Always a good idea to throw some points into Better Barter and Daring Adventurer as well. And then I think we need Robotics invent, uh, in, uh, Inventor sorry, to, to make the drone, I think. So that's something we need to be thinking about too. I, it is, I definitely would like to make the drone at some point. There's just so many things to do, you know, so it's just a matter of uh, prioritizing what's the most important. Okay, but anyway, uh, that's not going to happen immediately, right? So for today... Let's just keep working our area here, keep working quests, getting that XP up, and, um, you know, wait until we get to the point where it makes sense for us to move. But we are going to be on the lookout for that uh, snow biome as soon as possible. But I don't really want to go looking for it on a bicycle. It's just going to be too much of a pain in the butt. So we'll wait until we get the mini bike. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Well, let's go ahead and do this next quest. This is a clear and retrieve supplies. Uh, there's still... A whole lot of POIs just in our little town here that we still have yet to explore. So, you know, that's a good thing, of course. Oh, this is the donut shop. That's... Mm, that could be bad because it could reset this to a non-working vending machine. Oh, I don't like that idea. I do not like that idea. Well, hmm. Yeah, this has been this vending machine has been a godsend, man. I think I'm gonna grab a jailbreakers too. Uh, don't really care about the rest of that stuff right now. That's gonna suck, man. If we break it. Well, yeah. You know what? Let's just let's take our chances, and if we break it, we break it and move on. Okay. So tier three fetch and clear. Let's check this first. Oh, thank God, it still works. Okay, good. So that didn't reset the, uh, didn't reset the uh, vending machine. All right, as usual, let's go ahead and put a chest down. Secure storage chest. Oh shit, I don't have any of my wood with me. I 
I accidentally um, put it in the chest, not meaning to. Thing is, is, I don't know if we can get to any wood without leaving our range. Oh, here we go. We got some wood here. Okay, this will work. This will do the trick. Okay, let's get that chest crafted. And um, I'm going to put it... I'm just going to put it in the road here. It doesn't matter. And then we'll put stuff in it that we don't need to take into the building. Now, let's see. We're pretty good on food and water, but I think what I'll do is let's just top it off with some miso. And then we'll put all the rest of this stuff in here that we don't need to take into the building with us. Let's take the jailbreakers. Well, actually, let's not. Let's put the lockpick, the jailbreakers, the wrench, and the shovel in here. And then we can come back later uh, after we clear the place to open up any safes or whatever else you know we might need to do. I think I do want to keep everything else with me, though. Uh, so let's put this down here, this here, and that there. Okay, let's do this. So what is this uh, clear and a retrieve? All right, let's do it. Let's do it to it. Do I have any wood left? Ooh, not very much. Yeah, shoot. I should have... I have plenty of wood back at the base. It's just that I... Um, when I use the, you know, load everything into the chest button, sometimes it'll load all my wood and I don't catch it. We could pick up chairs, though, and scrap these into wood. That'll help a little bit. Give us not a ton of wood, but some. Okay, so there's nobody in the immediate area, front area of our donut shop here. So let's loot this stuff. Okay, there's probably a Zombo in here. Okay. Maybe not. Or maybe they are and they're around the corner. Possible Zombo's coming out of the roof, too. That happens a lot now in the... Oh, shit! Jiggle, you scared the hell out of me, man. Or woman, rather. Okay. Yeah. You, uh... <laughs> we get a lot less warning now in Alpha 20 than we used to. Because sometimes you'd hear the zombie first, they'd start growling before they take off, but man, more often than not now, they just they're just there. So yeah, things are definitely more challenging here in Alpha 20. In some good ways, and in some not so good ways, I think. Uh, we talked... I talked about in the, in the last... Um, episode slash live stream that that I did last two episodes that you guys have seen how um, it's much much more difficult to get sneak shots off because the zombies are much uh, you know they're better hidden than they used to be um, yeah and we do like I said we do want to be on the lookout for warm weather stuff including the mods in fact can I make the insulated mod I don't remember no we haven't learned it yet because if we end up, you know, moving to the snow biome, of course, that's what we're going to want. Okay, let's not go upstairs quite yet. We'll, uh, we're going to scrap that. And we'll fix up that armor and sell it. Because I think we have a better, oh, we got it, we got the same. Yeah, okay. They're the same thing. Okay, let's take a peek in here. We've got a bathroom. Toilet pistol? Nope, toilet paper. Not toilet paper, but toilet paper. All right, was there another area over here that we missed? Yeah, just a bathroom here. Okay, you guys were telling me in the comments that these break easy. Well, there you go. Okay, I appreciate that. I don't know why it didn't occur to me to not check that myself, but I just assumed it was a, you know, a hardened steel door and it would take too long to break down. I was wrong. So, yeah, thanks, guys, for the comments on that. Appreciate it. <clears throat> okay. So, I think we're done with the ground floor. Uh, since we're still on the ground floor, let's just run out and empty out what we currently have. All right, let's move along here. Going upstairs. Let's turn our light off for a moment.
Look who was not loaded. Shame on me. Glad I thought uh, thought about it right now. He says, is his crossbow's not loaded? I try, you guys. I try, but just sometimes, you know? <laughs> sometimes. Anything behind there? Huh? Okay. Okay, let's double check. Crossbow is still not loaded, because I didn't give it enough time to load. Loaded, 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 loaded. Okay, now we can proceed. Yeah, see, there was no warning. He just came around the corner and started messing with us. We got thumped a little bit too, but we're not in too bad a shape. He, I think he came out of there, but let's just close that door anyway. Check the bookshelf, see if there's any good, anything good in here. That's very good. Yes, indeed, we do want that. A little more coffee. Coffee's always good. This is where the dude came out of, and I think our satchel might be in here, too. There's a hole in the wall there. Lootable cabinet. All right, so satchel's kind of showing over this way. Not in here, is it? No, that's trash. Um, okay. Let's go back around here. All right, I'm guessing there's another room over there that we need to get to it. I don't think it's in this area here. So let's pick up the chairs and we'll also, um, harvest the, uh, this and this just to get a little extra wood going here yeah it must be in another room okay let's proceed oh i want to get you back in there i feel an ambush coming on i do i do Turn our light off for a second. Possible Zeke's come. Oh, shit! Through the windows. Dude. Scared the bejeebus out of me, man. <laughs> okay, let's check here. Some oil shale. Upstairs, some more, huh? Okay, let's turn our light back on. I think we're okay in this immediate room. He must have been, like, just around the corner here. Uh, this gives us cloth, so we might as well harvest it. What does this give us? Probably sand, I'm guessing. All right, well, if we go up, we're not going to get to our satchels, I think. Yeah, it's still down here, so there's got to be a different way to get over there. So let's just keep following... Uh, the stairs upwards. Uh, we're at about half health. Hmm. All right, well, let's just keep on keeping on here. Got to really be careful. That's got to be an outside Zeke. Okay, the good news is we have a door here that we can use to barricade. Let's open this door. Turn our light off. We want to be on the lookout for buzzards as usual. Hmm, interesting. What's that? That's a light. All right. Well, apparently there's no zombos at all in this uh, section out here. 
This might wake somebody up, so let's get ready to run. No, we're good. Check the trash. And this looks like a cupboard over here, but it's open. Okay, on up the stairs. On up the stairs we go. It's quiet. Too quiet. You just know something's going to happen here any moment. Okay, we probably can't barricade this. Or wait, can we? Oh, we can. Look at that. Okay, that'll keep anything from immediately jumping out of there. Especially if we upgrade it a little more. Okay, let's go look over here. Okay, there's a light showing us to jump down through there, which we might chicken out and not actually do that. Okay, we got a body in there. We can't get around to that side. Okay, well, let's go ahead and take these back down then. Guess I was a little premature on that, but yeah, I didn't know. I'm suspicious though, man. We went a long ways in this POI without anything happening, and that makes me think there's something extra nasty waiting for us at the end. Okay, can we block this? Yes, we can. Just trying to make a little bit of noise and see if we get anybody's attention here. Nobody's, nobody wants to bite. Okay. trying to remember to turn my light off when we go into new areas. It's kind of a new habit that I have to develop because I don't usually do that. I try and keep things light up, lighted enough for you guys to see on the video. But <clears throat> turning it off at least when we enter a new room and make sure it's clear and then turn it back on I think is acceptable. Oh shit, that scared me. Okay. I was trying to get a good headshot off on her. Okay. Let's turn our light on. I think we're clear all the way up to this point. Doesn't look like there's anything lootable. There's a couple things I can scrap later on, but... Nothing... Obviously lootable. Okay. Now, let's be on the lookout for vultures out here. Let's get that reloaded. That's the fat loots. Okay. What is that? Oh, I think it's just some old rebar sticking out. Boy, it's too bad we couldn't get some sniping done. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe that's not our fat loots at all. Huh, I don't know. All right, let's go around the corner here. Got a ladder to get up over there. Is it just you? 
we're not we're not afraid of you. So he just jumped out of the elevator shaft. There's a ladder here. And another ladder down there. It doesn't seem... Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. Um... I can't get down there. Maybe we weren't supposed to come this way. Okay. Uh-oh. We might have a bit of a problem here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, If I wasn't supposed to go down there, then why the hell did it let me? Shit. I probably can't put a ladder anywhere. Let's just try it, though. Hmm. All righty then. Um, kind of got myself into a bit of a pickle. What uh, kind of steel are we dealing with here? Oh, that's not bad. We'll just break this out and jump back up then. Okay, we got the attention of a zombo somewhere. Inside the elevator? That sounds like a crawler. Yep, it's crawler. Dead crawler. Okay, let's jump down here. So we got a ladder. And... Wait a minute. Were we supposed to come this way? I think I've gotten off track here a little bit. Let's poke our head in here. Okay, I think it's time to take this. <laughs> and uh, what we'll do is we'll put some normal bandages down there for bleed, bleed stoppage, but we no longer have a way to heal, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Okay. I'm starting to think we were supposed to come down here, but not the way that we did. Is there anything all the way down here? Oh. Oh. Yes, there is. All right. Um, let's get a. S hmm. We're not. S we're not crouching though, so we can't really get a sneaky sneak off on him. But we're on a little bit safer position. We probably can't see him from up here, can we? I mean, not to get a headshot. Um. What to do? What to do? Well, let's just thump him. Oh, he dropped a blue bag. Nice. I think that's the first one of those we've seen in our single player series. I've seen him on the multiplayer. Okay, that's good. That's worth selling. That's not even worth given our time to. I am definitely off the beaten track, though. That is for sure. Close that door for a second. Okay, um... I don't see anything else in here to loot. Let's open this door. It's 
want to be in here? Nope, there could have been, though. Close that door for a second. Finally, we get an opportunity for a sneak shot. Both of these are about the same in terms of their danger. Are we even in the same POI as before? <laughs> I'm like so confused about where we are. So confused. All right. So this is a spiral staircase leading back up somewhere. That looks like fat loots to me. So I think the fat loot's on the other roof or from somewhere else. Oh, there's a button here, too. All right. Well, before we do anything in there, let's see if we can get back on the path. Because, you know, when we when I do a new, a new POI that I haven't done before, I like to follow the path that it, we're, we're meant to follow. Just so we, oh, shit. Just so we can kind of see how, you know, it was put together and whatnot. Where are you coming from? Oh, these are live zombs. Not anymore. Live zombies is... A a little bit of a contradiction in terms, isn't it? Oh, these are where they do the mug shots. Oh, <laughs> nice. Jiggly, we took your leg straight off. And then we took your teeth out. Poor Jiggly. Okay. I mean, even if I wanted to get back to the starting point where we were, I have I don't even remember where it was, so let's just go through here. This is the interrogation room. Come on, give me a bandage. It's not the kind of bandage I wanted. Alright, we got a yo. It's hard to hit him in here because of all this shit that's in the way. Alright. Uh, like I said, we are going to be focusing now on intellect for a bit. So let's start pumping it up. we got to get it up to four to do everything we need to do. Let's check this cupboard. Yeah, I will definitely be coming back in here off camera to scrap stuff. There's lots of good scrap in here. There's a Zombo right there. Ooh, that's a copper, I think. Yes, it is. Can he come through there? What's he doing? What in the hell is he doing? Is he stuck? I don't think that's something we can shoot through, is it? Nope. Okay. Um. Oh, here we go. Come here, dude. Wait. 
Where'd you go? Where's he at? Did he dr drop down through the floor? I don't know where he is. I have no idea where he went. <laughs> It almost, it feels like he dropped through the floor or something. There's, I don't think he could have gotten up here. That wouldn't have made sense unless he teleported somehow. That is weird, man. I'm like really baffled as to where he went. He was standing here. He broke this and then he just vanished from this location. So weird, man. Okay, well, this place is a friggin' maze. I am like so lost right now. There he is. I wanted to use little friend on him. I wasn't going to take any chances. I have no idea how, what happened there. <laughs> this whole place is... This is the weirdest POI I've done so far, you guys. It's just... I'm getting lost. Stuff's happening that's not supposed to be happening. And yeah, it's, uh, it's weird. Okay, anyway, let's see if we can get back on track. So we need to... Let's, let's see if we can backtrack a little bit. It's the whole damn elevator shaft that got me all screwed up. Let's pick all this stuff up just for some more wood, even though I think we're okay on wood for now. Uh, we'll get rid of that and scrap these. Okay, so we came through here. We came up these spiral stairs. We saw the fat loot's room, which has now been broke. Oh, shit. Uh, broken into. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Run, 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 run. Um... Whew. Okay. Um, is there an even safer place we can go? Yeah, let's get into here. Okay. Are all of you coming down through there? See, I knew this... This wasn't going to last. And I can't really barricade in here either. Yeah, we're kind of in... In trouble. Yes, indeed. I don't know what to do. So let's um get little friend out and start softening up these guys. Okay, he's dead. We have two zombos here. Okay. Okay, we have a, a dog somewhere. Not entirely sure where the dog is. Nope. Is he behind this door? No, I don't think he's behind that door. Okay, he's up. He's up. Wherever he's at, he's up. Kind of up in that area. So let's go back into here. Oh, shit. Don't be doing that, man. That's all we need right now is a sprained leg or worse. Okay, let's get this ready for the pooch. Oh, we never even came in here. I hear two dogs. 
Never a good thing. Oh, shite. All right, well, we should be able to eliminate one of these guys. I am legitimately confused about where we are. <laughs> I am so confused. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's go through here. I mean, are we even in the same POI, you know? I'm not even so sure about that. Okay, there's the satchel. Okay, well, we found that. And it says return to trader. Yeah, I almost think that we... We got mixed up into a different POI somehow, but fortunately we still stayed in range so we didn't, you know, fail the quest. Maybe or maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, here's the fat loot, so let's let's get those. Um, hopefully we don't get a dog sneaking up behind us because I'm not sure where those dogs are. They sound really close. Okay, let's uh, open up the boxes first as usual. And then we'll check everything out. Okay, let's see what's in the filing cabinet. Paper. A sledgehammer and some oil. A couple of shovels. Some awesome sauce. That's good. And let's see what's in the weapons bag. Some sledgehammer parts. Okay, those might come in handy later. When we do an upgraded sledge. Um, I'm going to have to go, well, I could either break open the chest or run back down and get my lock picks. A little knife action there. Um, there's the dogs. All right. Hi, Fidos. Are you guys just dog horde dogs? Because I'm hearing even more, of course. Okay, we are massively encumbered here. So, oh, let's scrap those. Scrap those. Get rid of the stone. We're going to get rid of this. I'm trying to keep rotten, rotting flesh. Anything else? Just not necessary. This is not super necessary. It's not super valuable. Likewise with this. We'll scrap both of those. And likewise with this. I could feed those into the forge for, you know, more iron, but right now inventory space is more important. Let's eat all these blueberries up. Uh, we don't need jars. We can just drink this one. And then toss all of that. All right. The dog broke through somewhere somehow. All right. So... I can either go back down, get my lock picks, um, or I can just bust this open. And I've got a steel pick here. I think I, I think I'm just gonna bust it open. So I'll see you guys once we get it broken open. It's not gonna take me that long. Oh, there's the dog. Shit. What the hell, man? He keeps moving his head. Yeah, there must have been a dog horde wandering by. That's all. I don't think there was that many dogs in this place. Or maybe there was. Maybe there's like a kennel or something. Kennel POI. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys once I get this thing busted open. Okay, let's see what we get. Come on, give us something good. Really? All right. <laughs> Shit. I mean, the shotgun shells are welcome for sure, but that's supposed to be the fat load, so we should have got something better than that. Oh, look. Look what's in here. Bandage? No, but we got some other good stuff. This is uh, armor. Okay, we'll sell that. 
Uh, that's a pretty nice piece of scrap armor. Ooh, yeah. All right. This is kind of making up a little bit for the shit stuff we just got. Okay, there's a couple more nice pieces of scrap armor. And we don't have any room. Um, now what are we going to get rid of? How about... Uh, you know what? One piece of rotting flesh isn't going to make or break the bank, and I thought I already ate all of these. I guess I didn't. Must have got sidetracked. Either that or we just looted more. Maybe that's what happened. Uh, we are hungry. We might as well eat the chili now. No, I'm not worried about saving it for the better dishes later on, because that later on is going to be a long time from now. We're going to chuck these. We're going to scrap this. Uh, we're going to scrap the ladder. We don't need that right now. Um, and that gives us space for that, but man, we are still going to be hopping along, aren't we? You know what? We don't need 28 oil shale. When the time comes for us to get that, we'll get it in quantity, so there's just no point. Uh, all right, so I think... Where's the bike? It's over there. I think we jump out this way. Um, have I used all my frames up? Is the dog, like, trying to get up the... It's like right on the other side of this wall. All right, well, let's just go down here. Maybe we can just bust out through here. Oh, for goodness sakes. That's 3,000 hit point bulletproof glass. Yeah, they sure have made these POIs tougher than they were before. Okay, well, we're going to be further ahead to go back out the window and just nerd, nerd pull down. I don't know where that dog is. There's a couple frames there. Okay, where were we at? I think we were over in here. Let's close that door. I want those to be frame shapes. Okay. Um, I can't get it there, so what we're going to do instead is do this. There we go. Now we should be able to just jump right on top of there. Okay, bike's over this way. All right, guys. Uh, I went ahead and brought everything back home, repaired the stuff that I want to sell and or replace it uh, with what I currently had because it was a little bit better. Uh, let's check the vending machine here. We'll take that and the smoothie. I don't think we'll take anything else from there for now. And let's go see what our prize is and do a little bit of selling, get a little more coin. We sell only the... Now we're cooking with um, gas. I think... Okay, iron boots. Hmm, iron knuckles is tempting just because we are going to get into hand-to-hand, -hand, but I'm thinking probably by the time we're ready to do that, we sh we'll probably either have something better or be able to make something better. So let's go with the boots because the boots are going to be more immediately helpful to us right now. Uh, we get 2,000 Dukes and 6750 XP. Okay, now, let's take a look at your inventory. You have reset, which is fantastic. So let's go ahead and sell first. Uh, so we're going to sell um, the more valuable items. for. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because except for these two gloves, they're all pretty much the same thing. Uh, so we'll sell all of this off. Um, I had an extra battery. I'm going to sell him a stack of stone too just because we have a lot of it from all the mining I've been doing at nighttime. Safe okay, travel. now let's go ahead and swap out these two. These are 1010. Oh, wow, these are actually better than the iron ones, and they have another mod slot too. Interesting, and the iron ones are worth a lot more. Okay, we'll keep the scrap ones then, because why the hell not? And we'll sell him the iron ones. Iron ones were better in other ways, but the in the way that counts the most, the armor rating, the scrap ones were just a, a touch better. 
So yeah, we'll keep them. All right, so we'll sell those to him too. That gives us 5,500 coin. All right, let's take a look and see what he's got. First of all, in his secret stash, there is a 2x scope mod, which would be really nice to have for the crossbow. Um, it is theoretically possible that we could earn 16,000 coin and just flat out buy a mini bike. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about that because great doing business with you. Come back and tell your friends. If we did that, see we, we gotta get to Mini Bike Master, which is intellect level four. Physician only requires three. And if we can come across some nerdies, we, we would have an effect of three. You know, I, I think in the long run, it isn't going to matter because, you know, we're ultimately going to want to put more than four points into intellect for other reasons anyways. So I don't think I'm going to go for that. Uh, not that, that seems like a fairly reasonable price, though, for a mini bike. But, yeah, I don't think I'm going to go for that. We're just going to get the mini bike via uh, specking into, <clears throat> excuse me, intellect because we need to do that for other reasons. I think I do want this scope, though. Um, before we buy it though, let's just see what else he's got. I am kind of at the point where I'm tempted to just go ahead and buy. Ooh, now that. Wow, those don't have as good an armor rating as our scrap either. So that's interesting. They must have changed the way things work because usually... The lowest level steel boots were better than the highest level scrap iron, but apparently that's not the case anymore. Let me just double check. Did I misread something? Nope, these have 1010. Huh. Very interesting. Okay, we'll have to remember that and not just assume, you know, that the next level up is better than. Okay, anyways, let's look and see what he's got for his uh, other stuff in here. If I come across some nerdies, ooh, that would be good to get too. Um, but if I come across some nerdies, I'll probably just buy them. We have, you know, two other traders we can check, too. It's got tough guys and perceptions, but I don't see any nerdies. Military armor schematic. Okay, I think I want this. So we're going to buy that right now. Uh, for sure. And then I think we're just... That's going to be all we're going to do for now. Uh, does he have any gunpowder? No, it doesn't look like it. It's got buckshot, but we can make that. He doesn't have any gunpowder. Okay, yeah, I think that's all we're going to do with the trader for now. Oh, no, he's got gunpowder here. Yeah, let's just buy that because, you know, we can't really effectively make it yet. And I think it's that's good. A real pleasure. Okay. Watch yourself out there. So we are going to put the 2x scope on the crossbow, which is going to be really good. And uh, we have the 4X scope on our hunting rifle, which are, are actually our lever action rifle, and I want to keep it on there. And, yeah, I think we're uh, in reasonably good shape. All right, you guys. Well, um, this day is just about over, so I'm going to just spend the rest of this day doing stuff. I uh, might work on the horde base a little bit. Got to cut some wood down. Uh, more mining to do, that sort of thing. And then in the next episode... Oh, I didn't take a job. We'll do the next job in the next episode. Now, I could, here's another possibility. We could go get the treasure, which is a long ways away. Because we'll have a chance of getting a pile of cash from that, and we could potentially then uh, maybe afford the mini bike, depending upon how much money we get from it. The other advantage of doing that is... Uh, you know, we have the trader here, but then there's also a trader here, which I didn't mark. So we could stop at the trader, too. So that way we're not, we're you know, we're, we're killing two birds with one stone, essentially. So maybe that's what we'll do, guys, in the next episode. I think we will. We'll go hit that uh, buried treasure quest. Or not quest, but just buried treasure. And we'll stop off at the other two traders and see what they have for their inventory. Um, and maybe, you know, earn enough coin to make purchasing that mini bike worthwhile. Doesn't, it's not going to change ultimately what we're going to do in the intellect tree, but it would get us into the mini bike a little, possibly a little bit sooner than we otherwise would be able to get into it. So anyway, that's the tentative plan. 
Of course, if I change my mind, then, you know, we'll just take another job from the trader. Um, in fact, let's do that anyway. So that way, if we do decide just to do the next job, we can get started first thing in the morning and we don't have to wait for the trader to open. So let's grab that job first. Would you kindly help me with a little problem? Okay, so this is Fetch. Is it downtown filler 24? I don't know if I've already done that or not. Um, no so so let's just take it. If I have, I'll probably do what I've done in the past, and I'll just do a time-lapse speed run of it rather than a normal go-through, uh, if it's one we've already done. If it's not, then, of course, we'll do it normally. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go here. Thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.